Sup, this is John Gulp. My exam ended, summer just started here in my country, so I have more time to play Overwatch and also YouTube. So what's this video about? It's actually about playing Winston in defense. Most players use him for attack but not on defense and this is such a waste of his ability. So many pro teams have started to play Winston on both attack and defense. It's very viable and very powerful if you know how to do it right. So I'm going to be talking about uh, common concepts of defense Winston. Uh, one would be fight as often as possible as long as your team is in the position to allow for that. Two is I have the high ground and I can't, what I, what I mean is control the high ground. So three is harass their supports. So now if you do these right, you're going to ensure that they're going to be having a really shitty time. To them, it's going to feel like nothing is getting done. And to achieve all of this, you need to have a good sense of timing. The average of this game is 2400. Now, here I'm using an alternate account to play with my friend. I'm holding on the high ground and I drop down uh, to contest the payload. I go to even low diamond. Target prioritization is atrocious. There will be many people distracted by Lucio or something they shouldn't be focusing on at that moment. And then you have all these damage not being focused on the correct target. So you can see I'm just. just contesting and being around the pillar, there's just no one focusing on me. And and at this part I'm going I jumped up to get heals and I dropped down again. Uh, just contesting as much as possible. What I intended was to split the first point defense into multiple small fights. Even if we lose the fight here, we still have many chances before the payload reaches the next uh, before the payload reaches the first checkpoint. So when I finally retreated, if you look at the timer, we already wasted one minute of their time in front of their spawn. So it's a pretty good deal since it's, I mean it's in front of their spawn. I go for the Genji over here, harassing and controlling the high ground and then drop on their supports. You can see I've already achieved all three of the concepts we talked about. I'm fighting as often as possible, I'm controlling the high ground and now I'm even harassing their support. And we won the game right here. This was the furthest their payload moved. I just did the same thing again and again. The high ground was mine, the payload couldn't move, the mercy just felt the rage of a monkey on her ass. So now let's talk about primal rage. I know most of you guys are like, the ultimate feels like it just makes Winston weaker. You know what would be fair? If each melee blow does 100 damage. I mean, I, they fly really far when you hit them, that, that ought to scale with damage. But seriously, what should we use Primal Rage for? I, I know you guys probably already use it for stalling objectives and maybe healing yourself, but you should definitely look to use it to counter ultimates. It, that sounds weird, but let me show you what I mean. Here, I tried to prevent the High Noon from the enemy McCree and the enemy Reinhardt went for a shatter and it was such a great shatter, it hit almost everyone. My Mercy already used the rest, so once the Ryan, enemy Ryan gets into position to swing his hammer and start killing people, we're probably, we're probably gonna have to give them the point. So when I Primal Rage to knock him away, this prevent him from uh, not only killing my team, they, he will also not be able to trigger over time. So Primal Rage is an ability that can be used specifically to turn the tide of fights that you may have lost otherwise. In this example, I use Primal Rage to push the Hawk and High Charge Zaya away from the point to buy my team time to fight an advantageous fight without two key members of the enemy. The, the enemy Mercy used the rest, but the fight still ended up in our favour when Winston's Primal Rage effectively rendered both Zaya and Hawk pretty ineffective in the fight. Now, Winston on defence requires a really good sense of timing and a, and a no immense knowledge of where and how to position. It's actually not easy. That's it for the video. These are the, de uh, the basic concepts of how to be effective with him on defense. I hope you guys enjoy this vi enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next video.